we're going to do our comments controller all right so um, let's repeat what we've been doing go that control um let's touch what we've done first so git add git commit and this was on um, category category controller and now the controller comments comments and comments controller comments controller resource all right so we have a comments controller so we have comments so this is it so so in comments we you can create a comment all right you can you can fetch all the comments and then you can uh, you can show a single comment okay you can just show all the comments then you show um, you can then create a comment you can delete a comment so that's that so we don't need the crates we don't need create we don't need you can we need store we don't need show all right we, we don't need edit oh. we don't need update a well yeah you can update a comment all right you can update your comment <coughs> and we don't need um yeah that's all so just like we did for the rest so let me do the indentation so so index so i'm just going to copy the index comment stuff so we have it here and there and there you have it so we have comments and we're going to copy this comment. And I had to build my, so we know what we are doing. So, so this is comment. And we have comment. We have um, just comment is it, is it wow well, uh, I give it comments all right so comments and then comments controller right here so we set create edit and what again is it show sure? yeah sure so yeah so we need all of that except this one okay all right so we can save it oh what oh this should be the trick okay so that is it so comments do 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 within this current within this current comment. yeah getting all our comments here so let's say let's see whether we have it uh, why is this okay post Comments, so comments. So comments, 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 and the so comments. Let's see what we have. Ooh, 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 comment below not found. Uh, what is not found? Comments. Ah, up, instead of AO. I'm sure some of y'all see it. Some of y'all saw it. Right. Some of you guys are see our comments. So um so store a comment so we are going to post a comment, right? So we come here and remember you're going to add the um the post ID when you're posting a comment. You target the post ID the comment is going to, right? So this is it. So so this is a post ID, the comment itself. Now this alphabet thing, <laughs> I added when I was building the project. I added this like later on. It's like an an update, a feature update. All right. So let me see if I I really added it to the migration. Comment alphabet. Oof. I wanted to remove it, and I'll I'll explain to you what that means. Uh, I think the name even doesn't resonate with what it actually is. So. I'll just leave it. 
when when we are booking the actual projects on the front end, you get to know what our fabric. But in the before before when I built this project, I didn't add any alphabet. Just later on, I thought, oh, that would be cool to add an alphabet. That the alphabet takes the first letter of the name, and then stores it in the alphabet. You get it? So it takes the first letter in the name, and then stores it. All right. So that that's what the alphabet is about. But anyways, that's it. So I will just say it like that. And do, 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 do. blah blah. You validate it. Request. Create a comment. And that's it. You save. So let's actually create a comment. So a comment should have a post ID, right? So we're going to create a post here. Ooh, post. Let's go to post. Add a post. So we just create a post. We go to post. We just. Is delayed. Oh, get. So we have one post. All right. So this is the ID is two. And let's add another one. Um, by the same user. All right. Just by me. So we add another one. So we come here. The same content. All right. So we have two posts. So this is one. Second ID is three. So let's go to comments. So we're gonna add a comments body. The name of the comment, the, the person's name, Charles, all right, and then um, the comment itself, all right, and then the post ID is two. So I'm adding, I'm adding a comment to this post, so the post ID is two. So let me see. So two, that is this one. So this post, all right. So um, comments, 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 two, and then I've added this alphabet thing. Oh, yeah, actually, that's the name. Maybe I should have explained to so the alphabet to see, but I will get the alphabet on the front end, all right? I will just get the first letter from this one and I just put it here. But here it's C, so we just say post the comment. And then we have it here, so nicely like that. <coughs> so post ID is here too. So now we have post. So now we can add that feature where the post to show us the comment, all right? To show us each post. When, when, when we fetch all the posts, it should, should, we want to see the comments or the categories or something. So, yeah, so we come to that. Or when we show a single post, show a single post. So let's see. Two, two. Yeah, it's because it's, 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 on the front end, when we click on the single post, it's going to give us. It should show the comments under that single post. So depending on how you're building your project, whether do you need a do you need a comment of when you fetch all the projects, all the posts, do you need all the comments and all the categories associated with it? Or just one when a user fetches just one post, that's when I get you all the comments. So it depends on how we are going to build the front end. And we structure our back end. So that is it for now. So comments, we've added it. So we can read the later comment. So we come in here and update. Okay, update. Okay, so we have to update a comment. Um, so actually, we just do like how we did the Copy this comment. So since we are not stuck, since um, the it's going to be like anybody can pass a comment. The person doesn't have to log in as a user or anything. If you come to my page, you read my post, and feel like there's something I did wrong, you need to correct me. You can just send in the comments, all right? You can just pass in the comment to it, and then I don't have to do anything. So there's no validation that the user has to be authenticated or anything. You just send a comment. So while the comment is sent, um, I'm, I'm looking at whether the user can update the comments when the comment is actually sent, because you can come back and update the comment. So I think, I don't know, update will look upset because... The person is not a user. It's a random user coming to your site to pass in a comment. So I'm not going to add an update. Uh, it wouldn't be cool if there's because if there's an update, then anybody can update anybody's comment. You understand? Because the comments are many for a post. So once you post, you've posted it. You want to correct something? You have to post another comment and maybe say comment. You just maybe update a comment and just say hey, what I wrote first is wrong. Blah 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 blah. Just something like that. So not necessarily, you can't come and edit a comment later on because I'm not a user. I'm the only one who can, and I can't even edit a comment because 
I can't even put that feature in it because the comments are not for me. They're for other people. And they're not even users. They're just random people adding comments to a post. So there's no way I can update it. So I'm not going to add this update. So I'm going to take it off. Yeah. And it's just going to be, you can fetch all the comments. We can um, save a comment. We can create a comment. And we can delete a comment. All right. So that that, that is... Even this, maybe I might, I don't know whether I'll, I should delete a comment. Well, if someone posts some naughty stuff like a spam or something, I should be able to delete it from my end, all right? So I'll authenticate this side and say maybe only the user admin can maybe blah, 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 delete a comment or something. You know? So um, so let, let, let's just put the normal um, stuff there for now. So when we do authentication, but I'm not sure I'm going to do authentication in this series. Because I'm not, I don't really want to go far reliable like that. So I'm not going to do authentication in this series, but maybe I won't, maybe I won't. So um, comments, sign of fill, blah, blah. You can delete a comment, blah, blah. So this one will just be for me, the admin. I can go in and delete some naughty or silly ass comments. All right. So you save it. And that, so that will be for um, the comment. Uh, have I done categories? Oh, I've done category. All right, cool. So, and when, I, when I'm creating the category, do I? All right, so this is where the, the, the super controllers come in, the relationship controllers come in, because now category needs to find a way to connect to posts because they are related. So when I come here to categories, category model, it says they have many posts. So when I fetch a category, I should get, I should be able to get a post under that category. Do you understand? Yeah, I should be able to get the post under that category. So we need to create a different controller to take off um, category and then eight post. I hope it's making sense. So when I go to maybe slash categories, then I, I pass in the post ID. I should be able to fetch all the categories for that specific um, when I pass, when I go to categories and I, and I pass in the post and I pass in the category ID, I was able to fetch all the posts under that category, something like that. That's what I meant. So we'll look at that in the next video. So for now, we are done with, um, is it comment? Yeah, we are done with comments. So we'll, we'll look at all the relationship models, relationship um, um controllers, and we're going to fix all of that. So which information do we need to fetch when we need what on what what depends on what and what depends on that so we're going to look at that in our next video so for now comments is just done so it's just the minimum so let's add is it um what do we just delete was this um update so update so we're going to add it here and say we don't need update uh, oh no update all right so we don't need update also so yeah so something like this and we are done so we save it so in the next video so let's start our stuff so we're going to do that um, oh there's a way you can do the two the, the two together um this comment this was um comments Comments controller. All right, so it's added. So in the next video, we'll look at the um, the many to many stuff.